Hey guys, this is Dynasty 7 Lego Maniac. Be sure to check out my other social media accounts and my Patreon. Links are down below. I know these minifigures seem to show up out of nowhere. Ever since the movie came out 4 years ago, I always wanted to make this version of Tony Stark. I actually tried to attempt it before, but never continued it because I was relatively new to customizing back then and I had no idea where to start. After a while, I eventually put it in the back burner and forgot about it until I finished making my Captain America the First Avenger custom minifigures. That somehow gave me an idea to make minifigures from past MCU movies and that nobody has ever made before. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first custom minifigure of this version of Tony Stark and Trevor Slattery. At this point, whoever is making a Tony Stark or a Trevor figure is clearly copying me. Before we continue any further, I just want to say, who cares if Iron Man 3 came out 4 years ago, and that it's too late for me to make these figures. I'm saying this because I get stupid comments like that from videos such as my first Avengers showcase. What is more important, a dumb deadline, or my passion in making figures that I want to make and share with you guys? As I say in every description and the intro of the video, I do not sell these figures, and rather than focusing on what minifigures I'm making next, please just focus on the minifigures in this video. To start off with Tony Stark, the mechanic, I modified the wild style hood and painted it black. This was originally meant for my CW Speedy custom, but I never made her because I don't care about CW figures anymore. I used LEGO's Tony Stark head and painted cuts and bruises. For his glasses, I sculpted the frame and cut it a tiny piece of plastic. I then water painted orange so that it sort of looks transparent. I wrapped the white torso with black e-tape and I made him straps and buckles out of fabric and procreate. For his taser glove, I sculpted it around a tan hand and added some threads and additional sculpted bits for the circuit board. For his left hand, I added his Door the Explorer watch which I made out of e-tape and cut up Lego antenna piece. His bag is made from a modified collectible minifigure spy bag with a neck brace cutoff and some threads and pro grade for weapon storage. The accessory includes a dart gun, which I made from many different types of cut up Lego, a grenade from Brickforge, another grenade from a spring loader shooter missile and a Brickforge arrow, a lasso out of a Brickforge arrow, and a thread, a newspaper out of e tape, and a taser out of part of a Brickforge gun, and two radiator pieces glued together. All these can be stored in this bag. His legs are simply painted on the dark blue legs, and another accessory is this gun he has when he was interrogating Trevor. The only reason why I made Trevor Slattery is simply because I think it will be hilarious to include him, which is why I didn't spend a lot of effort in making him. I got this hair bun piece from an Asian collectible minifigure, and instead of using Lego Group's beard, I sculpted it on. I then painted his drunk, happy expression, which fits perfectly for his character. His bathrobe is from Cape Manis, and I didn't bother painting letters on his shirt. I made his beer can using two Lego pieces and for a joke, I sculpted a fortune cookie out of Procreate. That is all, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more custom minifigure videos. As of right now, I have a Charlotte from Infinite Shadows, Justice League, Red vs Blue, and Transformers next. I can't wait to finish those and share it with you guys, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.